Hey guys, I'm back with another little tutorial. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to, uh, you know, help them with the volts, help them with all this stuff and everything. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to help you a lot with, uh, you know, this new tech or technic launcher, basically. Uh, I didn't know that they updated, so I'm sorry I didn't make a new video. Uh, you guys will have to keep me informed as they keep updating. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. First thing I want to say, I hate it. It's stupid. It's awful. It's super laggy takes forever for things to like shift around when you're going between packs it just takes a long time I don't like it they should go back to the old one it was much easier to use much more fluent stuff like that but it, this one does look nicer so first uh, let's talk about this uh, interface over here obviously you can scroll up and down uh, real easy to click background changes and stuff it makes it look nice but if you click too fast it gets real laggy and you have to wait like a minute for it to catch up which is super annoying uh, but past that, uh, over here, obviously, we have the uh, launcher thing. So this is going to, um, this is, handles the actual launcher itself. So the actual, the actual launcher. Uh, so you can update to the beta launcher, which I wouldn't recommend doing. Uh, you can also increase or decrease uh, the amount of RAM that is being used. Uh, so that's really sweet. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what this does. I haven't really messed around with it, uh, but it has something to do with perm gen. Uh, so something like that. You can also here uh, check your logs, which you can see here. Uh, this is my only log, which I logged in today, and I've been doing a lot of you know, research on this launcher and stuff. But I've log been logged in today for quite some time on this, so there's that. You can also call the a console up, which is really, really cool. However, I don't have any text in here right now. But you can see all the inner workings that's going on, which is something that's really cool, which I don't think that they had before. So that's uh, nice for them to see that. You can also s uh, save the statistics, and then you can change the folder on which... Uh, it downloads the stuff into which I must say uh, is a, is a great upgrade to this because I'm almost 100% positive you couldn't do that before, and I've always wanted to be able to pick where my TechIt stuff goes. Um, however, I don't play TechIt anymore, so it's kind of useless to me. Uh, so that's really really cool. Now the one thing I want to say is uh, a lot of people have been having problems with the volts not completely downloading the pack or um, that it'll um, when you log into volts the mods will be gone and it'll just be vanilla and there's all these things that keep happening now the one thing I want you to do when anything ever happens is you click on the little uh, settings button underneath the mod pack that you're wanting to, to, to change now here's a lot of different option options again you can uh, use the recommended build which I would always say you do uh, I wouldn't ever use the latest build when you are um, when you are using a single player world because it's going to be unstable. But always use recommended, I would say, or you can even select it manually if you really want to. Obviously, this is the latest all the way down there and everything. And then, of course, here you can as well open up the folder. Uh, you can change where it's going to save all of your Vault stuff in. And I just got some that's weird why is that there that's weird anyway and then here's where you want to here's what you want to do uh, you want to come into your let me see what, yeah okay you want to come into here if you, anything goes wrong if anything at all goes wrong with your volts uh, the mods disappear it won't fully download you can't log in you want to come into your folder head into volts and you want to just uh, I, I guess the safest way to do it would be to uh, just like you want to you want to get to this spot basically so a good way to do it of course is to come down here and go uh, percent app data percent now that's going to take you to this page which then you can get into the tech it, uh which is uh, the, the they did change the name of the folder this is the old one this is the new uh, so the volts you want to come in here and you basically want to save if you have anything on here that you want uh, you want to make sure you get it. any world data is going to be in the saved uh, any uh, any bins or uh, Minecraft jars that you're going to want to save are going to be in here you want to save those any texture packs will be in a texture pack thing I can show you it's going to be if I go to the old one any texture packs is going to be in here 
Uh, so you're going to want to save those because uh, this is going to basically reset uh, your your stuff. But you can reset the pack and it'll ask you, are you sure? You'll hit yes and it'll uh, basically tear down the whole thing. Now if that does not work, what you're going to have to do is go back to that. Uh, is that it? No. You're going to want to go back to the uh, percent app data. You're going to go, to go in here and delete this whole folder. But you want to make sure you still save everything. That's super, super important. So save everything. Uh, and, and either of those is going to fix it. I would reset the pack first because it's easier. And then if that doesn't work, you're going to want to delete that whole tech, uh, tech, um, dot technic folder, which is actually represented right here, I just realized. You want to delete that whole thing, uh, but you're obviously going to want to save everything that you need to save. And uh, when you bring up the launcher again, it'll recreate the folder and recreate everything. And that's how you fix uh, basically all of the problems. Uh, there are a few problems here and there which need a little bit more in-depth. And if anyone runs into any problems that they can't fix, let me know and I'll help you out the best I can. One thing before I go, I know this video is getting a little long for a tutorial. One thing I want to know is you kind of saw at the beginning, there is a Feed the Beast launcher open. Now the reason I have this open is because there is this... Uh, pack called amps and I'm gonna put this in the uh, title and in the description as well amps is a uh, legal I guess if you want to throw that term out there it's a legal mod pack it has the you know it's from feed the beast so it has all of the proper um, you know considerations to the mod uh, owners the mod pack owners such as you know they have the consent and everything so that's that's very important so and this is exactly the same I actually have if I show you the all of the uh, mods in volts here and all the mods in um, in amps now that you'll notice some differences such as uh, mechanicism tools mechanicism mechanicism generator mechanicism now on here it's all under one so as you can see, it's all under one here where this one it has three. They all are in here, obviously, because they all are needed in order to make the Mechanicism pack work. However, they just listed it as this one because obviously if you have this, you have to have the other two. So that's just something that's a little bit different. They, This one, uh, they have organized it as every single pack is given. And obviously, uh, as you can see, not enough items, inventory tweaks, and chicken code is not in here. Uh, not on the screen but they actually are there so if that makes any sense they are in the pack they just don't display them because they are in every single one of these packs basically so it's not you know those are universal packs uh, but yeah such as you know uh, Blastcraft I think I'm uh, pretty much almost is certain as part of a atomic science um, and all the rest of them are in here obviously so this one just arranges them by uh, the total pack where this uh, talks about each individual part of the pack so that's the only difference but if I was to say one or the other use feed the beast uh, just because it's a uh, legal uh, if you want to throw that term out there it's a legal thing you know it's not going to make any uh, people mad or anything like that especially if you're making YouTube videos use feed the beast just because it's I, w I don't want to say it's better because the technic technic launcher is just as good but this is just legal if I want if you want to throw that term out so uh, thanks for watching guys if you have any questions please let me know and I will get on them right away I usually try and comment like as fast as I can as soon as I figure out the problem I, I let it out there and normally I know the problem right away cuz I'm not gonna go in-depth on every single problem but um, uh, yeah so just let me know in the comments if you have any any issues and I'll get on that uh, thanks for watching guys please hit the like button please favorites and sh share the video if you could please and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel because there's plenty of awesome videos that I put out and you're gonna miss them if you don't subscribe so uh, thanks for watching guys and have a great day goodbye